Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to see how to work with the JSON data in a Python and for that you need to know what is JSON. JSON is a lightweight data interchange format uh, for storing data in a local machine or transporting uh, data between client and server. The JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation but uh, contrary to its name, it is a completely language independent. Therefore, we can even in a Python read and write JSON data. Now we know what is JSON, let's see how we can use it in a Python. To work with the JSON data in a Python, we have to import a module which is called JSON and it is one of the standard libraries so you don't need to install it because it is pre-installed. The two first methods that we're going to look from JSON module is called JSON dump and JSON dump s. The dump method is used to convert Python data to JSON data and write it to a file, but the uh, JSON dump s method is used to convert the uh, Python data to JSON string and return it. So it will return a JSON string and then we can use it further in our program. For now, I'm going to comment the JSON dump s method because uh, first we're going to look at this dump method. For that, I'm going to open a file. I name it movies.json and open it in a write mode. Then I'm going to open it as a JSON file. Now I'm going to use the dump method to convert this movies variable, which is a Python dictionary. So we're going to convert it to JSON data and write it to this JSON file. And all these steps is done just by this dump method. The first argument that we're going to pass to dump method is the Python data that we want to convert. And in this case is this uh, movies variable. The second argument is the file that we want to write the converted data into it. So it is JSON file. Now I'm going to run it and see what will happen. And as you can see now we have a new file, but uh, the name of this file is quite a small, so I don't think you can see it properly but I can open it and as you can see it is same as uh, this movies variable but it doesn't have any indentation so it is it is really hard to read we can add indentation to it by adding another parameter which to this uh, dump method which is called uh, indent and then specify how many indentation we want so I'm gonna write it for and run it again so as you can see now it is uh, much uh, much easier to read and it is more like this movies variable okay so now let's see how this uh, json dump s method work so i'm gonna come in these two lines first and hide this panel and don't come in this the json dump s method take argument which is the python data that we want to convert so in this case it will be the movies variable and because it will return a json string so i'm gonna store it to a variable and call it json string and i'm gonna add another parameter indent so we add indentation to it now i'm gonna print it so you can see it how it looks like so i'm gonna run it and as you can see now it is uh, same as this movies variable but uh, it is a json string so it is not anymore a python dictionary now we know how to convert python data to json data let's see how we can do it in opposite way to do that we are going to use two other methods from json module which are json load and the json dot load s the json load method is used to read a file that contains json object and convert it to a python object but the json load s method is used to read a json string and convert it to a python dictionary so for now i'm gonna comment the json load s method and i'm gonna remove this print statement and now let's see how the load method work. For that, I'm going to open the same file that we've created here. So with the open movies.json 
and I'm gonna open it in a read mode and I open it as JSON file now all we have to do is to pass this file to the load method and because the load method will return a python object so I'm gonna save it to a variable and call it uh, data now I'm gonna print it and run it so as you can see this is the same data that we've written to the file here in this line but if I print the type of this data you will see this is a python dictionary so it is not a json object anymore now let's see how the json loaders method works so for that i'm gonna change this uh, movies variable to a string because we have to pass a string to the loaders method so now i'm gonna pass the movies variable as argument to the loaders method and because it also return a python dictionary so i'm gonna store it to a variable now i'm gonna print this data and as you can see this is the this same as this movies variable but if i print the type of this data you will see it is a dictionary as well so it is not a string anymore okay guys uh, that was all for this video if you enjoyed it uh, make sure you like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel and if you had any questions you can uh, comment in section below so see you next time